Hey guys, welcome back. Um, yesterday, I finally put together my family wall clock thing that I've wanted to do for a really long time. It's been on Pinterest, pretty amazing. I was really inspired to create one for myself, so with some dollar store picture frames and leftover chalk paint, last night I stayed up way too late, but I got it done and I can't wait to show you how and maybe inspire you to make one in your home. So here we go. So here it is. I love the way it turned out. I definitely got to add that pop of teal here in my dining room that I really wanted. These are just dollar store frames and um, I got the words, the, the vinyl lettering and the clock mechanism off Amazon and I'll put the link below for you guys. So now I'm going to show you quickly how I made it. I just got the dollar stores. I got dollar store picture frames. I got two um, 5x7s, two or actually four 4x6s and two of the big 8x10s. And I just laid it out in a pattern on my craft room floor of how I thought I wanted it. I ended up changing it once it was up on the wall. I took the frames apart and I painted them. I actually painted the big frames and then all the matting just quickly with my Annie Sloan chalk paint. And you can see here a close up, I am addicted to Annie Sloan chalk paint. It's so easy to use. It dries so quickly. I mounted the pictures using these mounting squares from Dollarama, a lot less expensive than 3M, and I was surprised. I took these pictures off and put them back on about a thousand times, rearranging them because I didn't measure, and um, it didn't take the paint off the wall, and it was really, they hold the pictures well, Dollar Store frames are really light, so these hold them very well, and it doesn't wreck your wall, so I was really impressed with the Dollar Store mounting things. So. Um, the first thing I did was obviously I hung the four outer pictures and then I just taped up the, the lettering without taking it off. Then I peeled back the backing and applied the lettering in the middle. I tried to get it as straight just by eyeballing as possible, but I did hang the pictures using a ruler and I put them all about 11 centimeters apart. So it wasn't an exact science. I did use a level and like I said, I peeled these pictures off and put them back on so many times, but it was really easy to do and I think the end result turned out really, really great. I love the matting sort of ties in with the rest of the room at that pop of green and just dollar store picture frames. So it ended up being a really, really inexpensive DIY project. I definitely recommend it. I love the way it turned out. And like I said, I'll put the links below. For the numbers, I actually use this Milo, he's three, so he's at the three. And then I put family photos in between of like the, our extended family, um, each of our extended family have it. And then Abby's at the six, this is a picture of her when she was six, so she's going to be seven now, but this is her from last year at, at the six. And then Isabel at nine, she's the nine. So. Um, three, six, and nine, I'll probably keep those pictures forever just because <clears throat> I think that's really sweet. And then up here, Joe and I on our 12th anniversary, it's our 10 year this year. So in two years, I'll just put our 12 year anniversary picture up there. So it'll be three, six, nine, and 12. Love it. I think it just really ties in with the living room and the new teal that we just put in. And um, I'm addicted to chalk paint. It's ridiculous, but <laughs> it's sort of, uh, it's gorgeous. So thanks so much for watching one of my favorite DIY projects yet. Hopefully it inspired you. Maybe you want to make one for yourself. I'll put some links below where you can get some of the products that we use, like the words and the clock hands. And yeah, if you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe. Those are your tips and we'll see you next time.